Um, thanks, everyone. Welcome. Let me try and get this microphone uh, snapped into my hair. <laughs> uh, so uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, I um, think you probably know about these uh, workshops. We've had um, annual uh, workshops from the Chandra X-ray Center um, pretty much every year since, um, and I think actually before the launch of the mission. Um, uh, hopefully most of you know that uh, just uh, over a week ago, we celebrated the 24th anniversary of the launch. So um, we've been going for a, a long time and had a lot of these workshops. The purpose of them is to, um, you know, review and highlight uh, uh, the science with uh, Chandra. Uh, so they've been on different topics uh, throughout the years, um, uh, but also to bring in uh, results from uh, other areas to inform our community of uh, uh, how to proceed on uh, on the science in uh, in other areas. Uh, and uh, so this is a uh, particularly uh, timely one on high resolution X-ray spectroscopy. I would note, by the way, that every Oh, five years. Uh, we don't have a workshop, but we have sort of an anniversary symposium, and I'm sure it'll be mentioned again. But next year, uh, there will be a 25th uh, anniversary celebration symposium here in Boston. So hopefully, uh, we'll see a lot of you uh, here for that as well. Um, <clears throat> so the uh, for this particular uh, um, uh, workshop, uh, it's particularly timely because, of course, we have. Uh, just uh, in, a, in a month or so, uh, the uh, anticipated launch of CRISM that's going to give us uh, new high resolution capabilities with calorimeters that we've just barely uh, seen in the past. Um, but it's also timely because we have such a, a, a broad range of uh, high resolution spectroscopy that's done over the nearly quarter century that has been uh, Chandra with the uh, low energy and high, high energy gratings, as well as XMM with the RGS. And uh, it's particularly, I think, um, relevant, if I can advance this slide, uh, to, to have this uh, workshop here uh, hosted by our, the, the uh, MIT portion of the CXC, uh, given the long history of uh, uh, high energy X-ray spectroscopy uh, right here at MIT. And, and that goes actually back to virtually the beginning of X-ray astronomy. Uh, uh, and on the left of this diagram, I'm showing a uh, Einstein uh, Bragg uh, crystal spectrometer spectrum from Capella uh, showing uh, the iron 17 line. Uh, uh, the uh, instrument had an effective area of you know, square centimeters. <laughs> so it looked at bright, bright things. Uh, um, but uh, but as you can see, uh, the notion of looking at lines in x-rays is not uh, brand new. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, when we look at uh, current uh, capabilities, looking at the same uh, star with uh, the uh, the high energy gradings on Chandra, you can see how rich the spectrum uh, the spectra have become, and so uh, it's good to be here in this uh, in this facility where there is such a rich history of of this kind of work. Um, in terms of the um, uh, the the science, there's a as you know from the program, there's really a broad range of things that are going to be discussed because a high energy spectroscopy and X rays probes things from, um, you know, uh, uh, outflows, uh, uh, accretion disks, uh, um, hot gas in novae, um, supernova remnants, uh, uh, just a, a vast range of, of things, and really allows us to get to some of the complex physics uh, of um, ionization states uh, allows us to actually measure motions of bodies that we're trying to understand the dynamics of and such. And uh, so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, to two days or rather to four days of that kind of uh, three days of that kind of discussion. Um, <clears throat> well, there's more days that led up to it. <laughs> um, to uh, to sort of just kick off the, uh, uh, the first session, it's, uh, it's, fair to point out to those of you who know me already that uh, I work on supernova remnants, so I would tend to have a bias when I look at uh, what's really cool and important. Uh, and for those who know me real well, uh, you also know that I have a neurosis about the uh, band, the Beatles, that goes back to my childhood. And so 
Um, I, you know, I will, I will segue into where we're going next with this uh, beautiful example of uh, um, high resolution spectrum of a supernova remnant, in this case, EO102, an oxygen rich remnant in the Magellanic clouds. Uh, and uh, words from, uh, from the Beatles, uh, images of broken light, which dance before me like a million eyes, they call me on and on across the universe. Uh, that's going to take us into our first session here, which is indeed on supernova remnants. So welcome everyone, enjoy the workshop. I hope to see you at the 25th. We have really nice weather here right now. So at the end of the day, go out and wander around the area. It should be great. So thanks. <laughs>